left as an agnostic, I am pretty much uh, I'm a lifelong cradle Catholic. Um, I pray for these guys, these agnostics in my past, and, uh, I, and I'm very responsive to shame, although the doctor is, doesn't seem to be. <laughs> That's and my accountant. Where do we go from here? Are we on this side now? Where did okay, you go? Hi. My accountant. Oh. Hello, I'm Shelley from Davis, and I was at the Sacramento Con, and hey. I was... Hey. <laughs> hi. Hi. I was also at the Hollywood Christmas Parade, so I saw you guys there. So. Oh. Um, uh, I had um, one question I wanted to ask for Roxanne Dawson, and um, uh, the two characters I love most, of course, are um, Bellana and the Captain, because um, I'm Mexican American and female, and so I relate to both of them. Um, and my question for you, Roxanne, is um, I really loved all the, the things that the crew and the makeup people have done, and the hairstylists, especially your hair, just like the whole permutations of everything they've done with your hair. What's been your favorite style? Ow, I didn't stuck. do it. I was going to make a joke about Bob's hair. Yeah, yeah. Ow. <laughs> what, what, what hair does he pinch? What, what, what hair? hair? You only like the my, female my hair. Styles, I'll tell you something. I, yeah, I definitely think my hairstyles have Im improved through the years. Um, wouldn't you say so? Has it gotten better? Would you say so, Natalie? You know what? It's not my hair. It's glued onto the rubber, so it's hard to really have an opinion about it. Um, You got that, John? Yeah, All right. I wish my, my, my hairstylist, who's um, uh, Charlotte Parker, I wish she was here. She's not here, is she? Charlotte, you're not here today, are you? And I also, I've already introduced Natalie Wood, who does my makeup um, extraordinarily well, which I think, again, has looked better throughout the years. Shut up. <laughs> what are you looking for? Oh, really? Oh, do you want me to tell? Is, is Steve here, our security guard? I'm gonna Steve? Be here. Is LZ here? Who's Steve, here? Steve, you threatened Steve? to be here. Chach here? Now, Steve does not threatened. do my hair. Again, this is a digression. <laughs> but if Steve is here, we'd love to wait for him. He's our security guard. We've got some, every time we, we, we realize that there's somebody that we work with that's here, we really want to draw so attention much, to that. Yeah, these guys but thank you. Yeah, I think that it, it has gotten better. So there's, I actually have Polaroids of the first uh, makeup test that they did on me. Um, I, I went home those days and cried. I had uh, very heavy ridges and a lot of hair and a, a lot of teeth. Ugly, really awful teeth. And we did a test and I made sure that I could not talk with those teeth in my mouth. And we got rid of the teeth. And then slowly we, we started to tone her back a bit. I kept saying, remember, she's half human, please. <laughs> and we finally came up with, with what we did, but uh, those pictures would scare small children if you saw them, the, polo, the original Polaroid. So I, I do feel it has very much improved over the years. Thanks to Charlotte, and very much thanks to Natalie Wood, who does my makeup all the time. So and thank your, you. Your favorite, which one, which episode was your favorite style? You know, I never really thought about my episodes according to my hairstyle, but. Let me think. I think imperfection. Well, one time I had a little, I had a little braid. I thought that was quite cute. You know, there's not much you can do with my hair. It's, it's sort of the same. I mean, once it, it like lands in there, you know, it's. You, had a, you had a different wig for the final episode. That was I didn't. Here. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Uh, it's a long time. Oh, well, that, well, yeah, so, but that was sort of what we can't really yeah. talk about. Anymore. You're not allowed to talk about that. It's a wig. I just talked about the wig. I'm not That's a deer all. Why does she have a different wig? It's going to raise yeah, all yeah, sorts yeah, of issues. Okay. Sorry, he didn't actually say that. At he no did not time say did he that. say anything There's nothing about a different about wig in the final episode. No, I did not have a different wig in the final episode. I've never hunted deer. I don't hunt deer. I don't hunt moose. I don't like deer. But I would not hunt them. Or moose. John? No, I was just thinking about it. Didn't work. Okay, I think we're over way. here now. Oh, we have nobody else? Oh, we're back over here. Oh, we're, we're nowhere. Uh, do you have a question, sir? <laughs> sir? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, you have a second. Yes. Anything for us at all? Questions that it's over and we must say goodbye. Uh, we, we got just maybe a couple of minutes, so maybe we can think of a couple of witty things to just segue out. Oh, a couple of witty things. A couple of witty Boy, the pressure's on now. Now the pressure's on. A couple of witty things. So just don't say anything then, that, John. That okay? out Bob the card over nothing. there. Actually, Bob's got the most witty things to say, usually. Bob's uh, I thought the thing that Tim said witty. about me at the concert last night was pretty good. If Tim said that, uh, that uh, if he had his choice of, of uh, anyone's acting talent, he would choose mine. 
because clearly it's never been used. <laughs> nice. Wow. Did you say that last night? I thought night? that was pretty good. That's that was very good. I, I good. have kept the secret for seven years that Tim Russ is a woman trapped in a man's body. <laughs> <laughs> who does his lips before every take on Star Trek Voyager. I kept this secret religiously for years. Oh, my. Now the pressure's off. Some people act from the, um, the inside out and others act from the outside in. And what I like about Bob is he acts from the outside out. <laughs> Thank you. When Robbie was directing Jerry Ryan in, uh, what is it, Body and Soul, and Jerry um, had to play me inside her body. Robbie's direction was, you know, I could have said that in a different way, but <laughs> would have had me arrested. Um, Robbie's direction was to Jerry was, go ahead, you, you can't be too big. <laughs> Which he said in front of me. So when I came on the set, the whole crew looked at me like, oh, and they cracked up laughing before I even opened my mouth. And then Jerry, you know, rehearsed the scene, and, and he was right. He was, could have been a little bigger. Exactly, that's my point. <laughs> you can't be too big. Again, Mr. Sensitivity. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of love on that stage, let me tell you. We're gonna well, take gosh, it out to the water now. now. It's time to well, we just, we deal with the huge lines of wrap it big, big lines of many people. thousands of Anything. fans just waiting to meet you personally and I'll grab you and kiss you, so. Is this your Barry White impression? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what you just said, but it turned me on. <laughs> Let's end it on that note. Let's hear it for the cast of boys. Hello! Come on, let's hear it for them. Tim Ethan, Roxanne, Robbie, and Roberts.